hello 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 everyone welcome 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 it's Vic Witch Art Witch here for your monthly scroller box unboxing and today we are unboxing scroller box 106 hope you guys are not um struggling too much with the weather remember stay hydrated stay cool keep in the shade it's hot down here on the south coast it's really hot so without further ado let's unbox this thing feels feels a bit weighty but you know that could just be paper you know, nine times out of ten, it's the paper that's the weighty thing. So let's have a little look, shall we? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, what have we got? So they scribbly. Is this torture chalk? Oh, it's not torture chalk again, is it? Torture chalk, for those who don't know, in my little, little group of arty friends, torture chalk is uh, chalk pastels. So... Right, let's take it out the box. As we do, we take it out the box and then we have a look-see. So, materials first. So, uh, feels weighty, but some kind of... Hmm? Oh! Okay. Okay, let's start. We have our sweet. Scroller subscribers will know if you subscribe, you get a sweet. These sweets will not be in any packs that are sent out for anyone who is not a subscriber. We have our lovely sticker. Your artwork sticker. So what's this? We have a Dewent blender pen. Intriguing. A pencil sharpener. Which looks like it has a... Is that a spare blade on the side? Oh! Oh, God! Yes, spare blades. Okay, well, we will put that back. We'll put that back. I've done that, and now I can't get it back. But there we go. I think. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Video's off to a cracking start, isn't it, ladies and gents? Okay, there we go. So it's actually got spare blades, which is kind of cool you don't really get that for pencil sharpeners so what have we here okay looking it over it's something from faber castell judging by the uh print on the bottom oh well what have we here we have let's pick out the yellow so i can see what they are some polychromos, Faber Castell polychromos this month. Ooh, do you know I don't have any of these? I'm not a pencil person, as as my friends will tell and testify. I don't like pencils, using pencils very much. So, this could be interesting. This could be very interesting. So, let's just shifty the tissue out the way. Put those there. and sticker there uh so this is our art print this month's art print is it's kind of cool actually i can see like, how they've used like the build-up of the colors and stuff to get the shapes and stuff this month's features artist is liz and i apologize if i'm butchering the pronunciation of your name liz yamit So, okay, we've got toned drawing paper for this month. Interesting. So, let's go through the scrawler magazine. Here we go. Page one. We've got our odds and such, our materials. Don't forget, scan the QR code for supply information and prices. Make sure you have a look. Here we go. Information about the artist herself. Scrawler tips. It's 
graffito. That's actually, I, I, I would never have thought to use that with pencils, personally. Not saying I would have done. But, hey, it's all good. Blending, gradients, all sorts of things. Oh, what? Warm up. Let's do. Who's doing the warm up? Who does the warm ups? Let me know. And some of the artist's advice. And here we have some from Squaller Box 104. Uh, Squaller Box 104, the Squaller Challenge was hodgepodge. And again, every 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 month I get so blown away by just like how amazing the artwork from you guys is, fellow Squallers. I really, truly do. I mean, look at this. This is insane. This is beautiful. And Lucy Locks Art, I love your one. That is so nice. It, it's like country cottage chic. And I, oh, I just, I love all these. And the top three. <gasps> Look at these. How beautiful are they? How beautiful are they? And again, the school of community on Facebook. Please come join them. Hey! Who's this? I recognise this person. Hey, Mel! Hey, Mel! What a surprise! I remember seeing this fox. This was one of my, is one of my favourite pieces that Mel's done. This is this is really one of my favorite pieces because I love foxes and yeah. Oh, congratulations on getting in the in the magazine, Mel. I'm so proud of you and pleased for you. And a little little extra at the back here now. They started doing little extras and stuff like that. So gesture drawing, little quick gesture drawing in order to warm up. And our scrawler box prompt for this month is squiggle me this. Squiggle? I don't know what... I've got to be honest, I'm just thinking of a really badly loosely drawn Riddler. You know, Batman Riddler? Going squiggle me this, squiggle me that. And, yeah, that's probably not what they meant, but okay. Interesting. Could have some fun with that. Now we've done our magazine deep dive. So, you guys know the rule by now. If you're a long time, if you've been watching since my first video, you know the, you know the rule. First thing I do on every video for the new things is we get swatchy with it. We get swatchy with it because I want to know how my materials will form on the paper. So, let's have a look-see and let's get swatchy with it. I'll be honest, I'm not one for using toned paper. It's not something I like using very often. But I can see in this case where it will really bring out the colours. I mean, especially with that one, that one wouldn't... That one wouldn't pop very well, let's be honest, on normal paper. I can see where the colours will pop. So I'm just going to run through some of the colours. And swatch them down. See how they come out, see what we got. Because it's always good to see what your colours come out like before you actually start planning a piece. And it does say in the scroller thing to do like loose sketching. When the artist does like loose sketches to start their piece. So um, I, got a, I got a really good mechanical pencil from an old scroller box. So I probably will end up using that. If not, probably the good old trusty black wings. Because 
So I want a box full back in the back in the Christmas giveaways in the Scrawler Scrawler Discord. If you are a Scrawler subscriber, there is a Scrawler Discord. Please come and join us. Oh, that red pops nicely, doesn't it? Let's pop nicely. And I still haven't got through the box yet. Which, you know, for an illustration student, I thought I would have done by now. Okay, so there we go. Those are the colours. Now... I'm wondering what would happen if I just used just the blender just to do a little bit like that. Oh, here we go. It gives us a nice kind of. It almost like flattens it out, I suppose. It makes it look. It almost looks chalk line on the paper, but that kind of like flattens it out a bit. Although I can see. The problem might be, that, see, there we go. I don't know if it's because I've done too hard on it or what, but we're going to have tip issues on the uh, paper. So I don't know if I can just... Yeah, if I sort of scribble... Okay, so if you scribble on, like, another piece of paper, so you're going to want, like, a blotting piece or, like, another spare piece of paper, you'll get rid of some of the, the stain from the pencils on the tip because I can see that being a being a problem... If you if you're crossing colours a lot, so there we are. That is Scrawler Box One Zero Six, ladies and gents. Thank you for joining me once again on this lovely little quick flick through and quick unboxing. I'm Vic Witch Arwich, and I hope you've had a lovely video, lovely time watching the video. And there's one more thing I've got to share with you guys, is that I have passed my degree. I have now got a degree in illustration. It is done. So now hopefully I'll be able to find some more time and I'll be able to make a lot more content videos for you guys of doing art things. I want to go back and do like dives into old boxes that I've bought and stuff like that. And now that I've done my degree, and until I can get into, I'm planning to do a master's in visual communication, hopefully. And until I can get into that, I've got a lot more time on my hands. So hopefully I could do some more stuff. So here we go. Scroller box 106, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being with me. Take care in this heat. For, for goodness sake, please make sure you drink lots. Make sure you stay in the shade, hydrate, sun cream, everything. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.